so that's the front view of the car and uh, <clears throat> as you know looks are subjective but uh, uh, for me this this has got a great uh, road presence and uh, the colors are very good the chromes are uh, minimal and uh, all the lights everything are powerful enough so that is what we look in a in a big car and it's got tremendous road presence that is something see the side view you actually need a side uh, footstep for people to climb in you know the shorter people really need them so uh, that is well taken care of even though it is an accessory and uh, the view is perfect from any angle is what i would say Interior wise, uh, the seats are comfortable, good bolstering support, a good nice armrest and uh, the soft touch plastics everywhere. So kind of uh, comfortable interiors in the front passenger, for the current passengers. The seat uh, length is too good actually. See I am almost uh, 6 feet and it comes to my knees. So that is very 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 supportive uh, generally. As I told you, it is long enough and uh, so the legs are comfortable uh, sitting and there is no hitting in these sides which is the problem with most uh, cars. So with this, it is okay. So we move on to the back seat and see how the back seat is there. I am not showing the third row because uh, practically we are not going to use it ever except for maybe small kids and small journeys which hundreds of reviewers are already told you. So I will just tell you about the back seat, how comfortable it is. Oh, not covered. Yeah, I'm in the back seat now. Look at uh, this there for my cushion. And uh, look at the space. Good space, no problems at all. There's no floor hump. The decay is big enough and you know you can keep any stuff you want. It is more than 600 liters, which is good enough. As you can see, we have got some chairs and all things. And the height is also good, <clears throat> there's no heating on the top or anything. Loading is also easy. So why buy the XUV is a very good question. Because the next XUV is coming, I don't see it coming before now, but as per uh, market uh, information and uh, things like that. But again, with the TAR deliveries delaying and all that, this should take a lot of time. Maybe by next Jan is when we expect the new XUV. And by the standards, sir, by the things which they're doing, the new XUV will come obviously with a lot of new features and uh, like lane assist uh, since the Tesla is already here. And all those kind of things, which which will obviously increase the price. So at this point of time, for anybody to buy a XUV or a big SUV with road presence, you know, a big seater, a seven seater, uh, these kind of requirements you know, got. For them, this is value for money because if you look at at a 20 lakh budget, uh, this is the W7 model, which has got every feature except for the sunroof and uh, say a reverse camera which are the other essentials for a big vehicle. Uh, it, it is uh, fair enough, good enough, you know. So, this is the 20 lakh, this is the minimum budget you'll get it for. Around 19.8 is the on-road pri on price. So, that is for money because they, all the other vehicles, even the Tata Harrier or uh, uh, anything uh, comparatively MG Hector or anything, all these will cross 22, 23, 24 lakhs uh, for the base or the second model or the first model. And uh, I feel compared to every other thing, the XUV has got the best road business. The gear uh, is automatic and uh, it is a torque converter unit. And uh, for uh, this size of vehicle and the torque converter, in normal traffic, it is a real boon, it is a real gift to use because uh, you can't feel the gear shifts, you, it is really that comfortable. 
uh, a gearbox. There is nothing to complain about this gearbox at all. So to explain, uh, two glove boxes, one on the top, good enough uh, for small items. There is a down glove box which is big enough with a laptop holder inside. Not illuminated though, but uh, fair enough uh, uh, storage. Uh, you have you can keep a lot of items inside. Okay, the air vents are good enough. There are four air vents. Wonderful. So the touchscreen is uh, good enough. It's not as big as the new cars, but functional. Everything is there, and all the buttons which we have here are again repeated in the uh, console. So even if this crashes, you can still use this. That is a big advantage which I see. There's a volume power button and uh, you know, all the other buttons, uh, you know, there are enough explanations all of, already in the internet. So uh, the climate control is automatic. There are two cup holders here. Uh, you can keep one liter bottles in here also on the door pads also. And there's a huge storage under this. It's actually a double storage. So and it's also sliding, which is which is makes it more comfortable. The instrument panel is uh, is uh, quite uh, uh, good to look at. Uh, kind of you know this um, what is it called aeroplane uh, aeroplane type uh, things. Although not digital, it is all analog except for the odometer and the telltale lights are all all there for and uh, you know for batteries, uh, hot fog lamps, everything, uh, diesel, petrol, everything. And the steering also has the controls for the volume button and for the mute button and for phone pickup drop <clears throat> the source for the uh, audio system cruise control and which you can set it very easily even a voice command system is available on the w7 model of the uh, car xuv car now the only thing which we think is not uh, great about it is is the rear view mirror which is not uh, a uh, automatic one it is uh, you'll have to do the manual adjustment for to get it for the sunlight and the night drive modes okay and obviously there are two sun shades uh, we have one without the glass one without with the vanity mirror <coughs> uh, budget budget issues in everywhere and uh, sunglass holder where you can keep a sunglass lights everything as as, in, as comes in any other vehicle so i think this is uh, fair enough for a you know you know a utilitarian vehicle nothing fancy nothing missing also so good enough so for the driving experience of the xqv the vehicle is quite smooth as we all know it runs on a 2.2 liter emoc engine and uh, the engine is very powerful. I think around 130 to 140 bhp is what it's got. Torque is great, obviously, as it is a, a diesel motor. But uh, power-wise, HP-wise, the acceleration-wise, it's effortless to go into a triple-digit speeds. It hardly takes one to three gears, and being an automatic, it is uh, that smooth. The gear shifts are not not even uh, felt. That is, this is natural, normal driving. There are people who race the cars. There are people who want to do a very spirited driving, which we don't do normally in the everyday life. So for them, it might the gearbox might uh, catch out a little. All that things will happen. But generally speaking, this is doing 80, 90 now, and uh, you can't even feel a jerk. Maybe the camera has jerked on its own, but uh, you can't even feel a jerk. The auto gear box. It is very, very smooth. Of course, I cannot uh, show you a descent or hill climb and all that. Since it's auto auto box, you know everybody knows that uh, it is an auto stop where you climb the hills. And when you descend, you can always use the hill descent control, which uh, actually breaks the car with the with the engine bar. So driving wise very smooth, that is what I would say on the engine part. On the suspension part, yes, it can be a little better and uh, uh, the suspension, uh, the travel looks very low. So the, since the travel is low, the uh, kind of, um, you know, the bumps are felt, you know, even the smaller bump like that is, is felt. 
compared to a sedan or compared to a more luxurious car so that is the suspension part i i think the the general feedback is the new mahindra thar or uh, the scorpio uh, for that matter has got a better a better travel for the suspension which uh, which doesn't uh, allow the smaller bumps to come into the cabin and uh, that's the suspension part thirdly the other thing is what we see normally is the uh, noise and vibration i know noise and vibration levels of the car that department also uh, maybe the new xuv will come with better uh, noise and vibration but as of now the bridgestone tires which come with the car give in the voice give in the noise actually not the voice noise so you can in a highway speeds you can uh, get the uh, noise from the tires coming into the cabin wind noise is quite evident at 80 100 km speed you can easily feel the uh, you know wind noise as at least small disturbance unless your stereo is turned on and uh, that doesn't you know interfere in things so that department has to see in the small speed vehicle like that we really felt the noise coming in so these are elements which can be corrected but uh, that is what you get for the, for the for the money we pay so we need to live at it Thank you.